the light of the discussion that we have had in our previous lesson, here in this lesson we will talk about how the print revolution birthed in people's minds new ideas. In that regard, let us now mention what the French novelist Louis Sebastian Mercier had to say about this print culture. He observed the printing press is the most powerful engine of progress and public opinion is the force that will sweep despotism away. So let us now break this sentence into two halves to understand what Mercier meant by this observation. The printing press is the most powerful engine of progress. In our last lesson, we learned how the print revolution and the wide circulation of ideas now gave people new ways of thinking. Now, when new ways of thinking are brought into being, people have new avenues to explore. Because if you do not have an alternate way of thinking, you will be compelled to think along the same line. But it is only when you have alternate options, you will be able to explore more choices. And likewise, when people think along new lines, when people think in different ways, societies will progress. Societies will no longer remain stagnant and hold on to traditional values. So this is what Mercier meant by the fact that the printing press is the most powerful engine of progress. And then he said that public opinion is the force that will sweep despotism away. Earlier on, masses did not have an opinion of their own to voice. Or they did have, but they did not have a medium to voice their opinion. But now, with a medium to voice their opinion, with a medium to talk about their oppression, their struggle, they will now be able to turn the tables. The despotic rulers, the despotic monarchs who have been exercising their oppressive power over people for long, long centuries will now be overthrown. So public opinion will now gather strength and momentum to sweep despotism away. In the same light, Mercier proclaimed, tremble therefore tyrants of the world, tremble before the virtual writer. He wanted to mean that time was almost up for the tyrants of the world who have been exercising their despotic power over people for long, be that the monarchy or the clergy. Their powers will now be overthrown which is why they will now start trembling and they will tremble before the virtual writer who has their own opinions and their own ideas to bring to the table. So this is how Mercier very firmly put his faith in the spread of print culture and new ideas. Now the French Revolution of the 18th century reshaped and restructured the French socio-political and cultural landscape. How was it done? This is because the French monarchy was overthrown, the oppressive estate system was abolished because earlier on the monarch was at the top of all power and authority in France and there was in place something called the estate system which divided the society into three categories. Now the members of the first and the second estate which were the clergy and the nobility respectively exploited and oppressed the members of the third estate. Now the third estate comprised all the people of France apart from the monarchy, clergy and nobility and these people were oppressed by the monarchy as well as the other two estates which is why in due course of the French revolution of the 18th century the French monarchy was overthrown. The estate system and system of using feudal privileges in order to create discriminations in the society were abolished. And at the same time, the ideals of liberty, equality and fraternity now gained popularity among the masses. Now these ideas became the clarion call of the French Revolution and over the years, these ideas spread to different parts of Europe outside of France. And this French Revolution was in great way indebted to the print revolution. How was it possible? 
because whenever anything happens in the society we will have to understand how those are linked because no event in society no revolution in society happens independently and exclusively more often than not one thing leads to the other and in this regard we can understand that it was the print revolution which actually laid the base for the french revolution but how was this done it is imperative on our part to find out answers to this question now before proceeding with this lesson let me ask you a question the print culture facilitated the spread of revolutionary ideas during the french revolution do you think this statement is true or false well this statement is true because the print revolution played a major role in spreading the revolutionary ideas among the masses during the french revolution but for that we will have to go back to the origin of these revolutionary ideas in order to understand how these spread among the masses earlier on the catholic church as in the roman catholic church held despotic power over the state and when the roman catholic church held despotic power over the state it was very reluctant to be contested in any kind of way which is why independent ways of thinking were hindered and impeded by the state apparatus by the religious institutions so people did not really have ways to think of a revolution to organize but subsequently following the age of enlightenment ideas of enlightenment philosophers like voltaire and rousseau now spread among the masses and their ideas very directly challenged the traditions and the despotic power of the clergy and the monarchy now these were people who were liberated in the truest sense of the term because it was through knowledge that they had gained enlightenment and these people were also spreading those enlightenment ideas among the masses now when we have to talk about the enlightenment ideas we will have to look at the foundation of these ideas the foundation of these ideas would be reason and rationality now it is with reason that you will be able to question the existing social order you cannot question anything out of nowhere because if you do not have reason you will not have proper ways to question something you will not have the proper way required in order to refute an idea so it is with reason that you can arrive at a new understanding of things and then comes the idea of rationality now rationality can help an individual break free of the clutches of ignorance because if i am rational enough i will not be held back by ideas which are traditional and oppressive in nature instead i will have rational ideas which will be facilitating my progress and which will in turn facilitate the society's progress and reason and rationality lay at the base of enlightenment ideas now with reason and rationality the clergy's power the monarchy's power could be demolished and thanks to these enlightenment philosophers and thinkers who now showed people the way in which they can now organize a revolution in which they can now question and overthrow the existing social order now a revolution is something huge it cannot happen overnight i cannot decide this morning that i will begin a revolution tomorrow there are a series of events and various other discussions that lead to a revolution and if a revolution or a movement is not properly organized it will inevitably fail over a point of time and so in order to organize the french revolution the masses had to gather their ideas in a proper coherent form now do you think only the enlightenment philosophers writing their ideas was sufficient to bring about a revolution most definitely not because the enlightenment holding hands with the print revolution actually helped the outbreak of the french revolution this is because with 
the print technology the ideas now spread among the masses so a new culture of debates and discussions now came into being now if you do not debate and discuss with your people you will not be able to arrive at a new understanding of something and it is through a series of debates and discussions that these french revolutionary masses gathered their ideas and it is through these debates and discussions that these people were influenced and inspired by the enlightenment ideas and all these together contributed to the outbreak of the french revolution and the overthrow of the power of the french monarchy so in this way we can understand how these were all linked events one led to another so the print revolution entailed the spread of ideas among the masses and the enlightenment thinkers and philosophers reaped the harvest of the print revolution their ideas spread among the masses the masses now started holding debates and discussions and all this together led to the french revolution now along with spreading the enlightenment ideas among the masses the new print technology also helped to bring to the fore a body of satirical literature now satire is something which is meant to ridicule or criticize something so a body of satirical literature will be invariably directed against something and that something will be ridiculed in the process so by the 1780s volumes of satirical literature now started reaching the masses now who or what do you think was at the receiving end of this body of satirical literature well it was the french monarchy now the french monarchy gave itself to a very luxurious and indulgent lifestyle in fact king louis 16 who was the french monarch just before the outbreak of the french revolution basked in an absolutely luxurious and royal lifestyle he spent huge amounts of resources and wealth of the french treasury in order to finance his lavish lifestyle now at this point of time the french masses were suffering because of hunger and poverty food shortages were there these people were also suffering because of france's involvement in different wars and on the other hand the french monarch was leading a very indulgent life so invariably and inevitably bodies of satirical literature now started criticizing ridiculing and deriding the french monarchy now this body of satirical literature served a very important purpose as a subversive weapon because along with criticizing and ridiculing the monarchy this now played a very important role in bringing together the masses the masses were very angry against the monarchy and the estate system because these masses were the ones who were having to pay very high taxes and these taxes were used to fill up the french treasury and the french treasury was being depleted simply because of the luxurious and indulgent lifestyle of the french monarchy so the masses were angered because it was on their shoulders to finance the lifestyle of the french monarch and so these bodies of satirical literature were now subversive in nature and all the masses who were angry and wanting to break out in rebellion against the monarchy now came together so at the level of common ideas and common hostile sentiments against the french monarchy this body of satirical literature helped to unite them so can you understand how print revolution and the spread of new ideas in ways more than one contributed to the outbreak of the french revolution and the overthrowing of the existing social order the point that we have been trying to establish all along is that the print culture played a major role in shaping human history now let me explain this to you very clearly we have already talked at great length about how the monarchy as well as the clergy restricted knowledge to themselves 
that is to say the clergy did not allow people to think along new lines but now with books and many ideas flooding the minds of the masses they were able to think in new terms and they were also able to see the existing things in new lights so earlier on the things that they did not see and their oppressed status that was quite invisible to them now became quite prominent now it is not to say that during this time only books which were dissident in nature books that contested the traditional authority were being printed because books were also being printed by the religious authorities as well and it depended upon the individual to read and see both the sides of the coin so it rested on the individual to understand what to accept and what to refuse now let me give you an example in this regard if i tell you that the mughal empire was a dynasty that ruled several parts of north america will you be willing to believe me most definitely not this is because you have access to knowledge and it is through your knowledge through reason that you will be able to contest me it is with the help of the knowledge that you have gathered by reading your textbooks that you will be able to say that the mughal empire was a pan regional empire that ruled the indian subcontinent from around the 15th to the late 18th century so you will not readily accept what i am telling you so what this print revolution did was to open up the space to think and question you will be questioning if i tell you something wrong you will be questioning if i try to lead you on a wrong way and at the same time the print culture also opened up the culture of debate and discussion and all in all this now planted a streak of individualism in people's mind so the process of learning and gaining knowledge was no longer a collective experience it was each to their own each person got to understand and decide what they wanted to think and how they wanted to question it was up to them to decide whether they wanted to accept or refuse what they were reading so this is the biggest impact that the print revolution has had left on human society which is why we established this point that the print culture played a major role in shaping human history now subsequently we will continue to have this discussion on the impact that the print revolution and the growing print culture has had on human history Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it's rewarding too so register for free now